very good afternoon to all the principals members of patleputra saudi high school complex i welcome you all in this uh, webinar i welcome our regional officer sir shri arvind kumar misra ji in fact he is uh, also on a parallel uh, webinar of the cbse headquarters respected city coordinator patna mrs glenda golston ma'am i hope and wish she is here so i welcome you all in g20 vasudev kutumkam one earth one family one future india at g20 so India has presumed assumed the presidency of G20 and intergovernmental forum of the world's major develop and developing economies on December 1st 2022 for one year term more than 200 G20 meetings will be held at locations across the country during India's presidency period that means from January to December The G20 summit will be held in Delhi on 9 to 10 September 2023. To mark this and to disseminate the information to the younger generations, younger audiences, CBSE will be conducting year-long activities on student enrichment activities, capacity building activities, online quiz competitions, activities on at the major uh, uh, four major cities. of chennai amritsar bhubneshwar and pune awareness activities across 56 cities in which g20 meetings are scheduled by the government of india so these are the main uh, issues uh, which uh, we will be sharing uh, and in fact this is an interactive uh, meeting so uh, any principals want to um, discuss uh, or want to throw their uh, light on this uh, to make this uh, uh, event a very Uh, successful one uh, and today we are having our nodal officer from patliputra saudi school complex mrs insha rahman um, uh, insha ma'am will be uh, on our ppt and she will be discussing and uh, awareing us uh, and sensitizing us what are the things and what are the uh, uh, things we have to do in the year long activities but before that we have been as, uh, assigned Uh, to have our activities in the month of february and on the topic labor and then insha ma'am will be dealing it hand over to insha ma'am madam please take over thank you so much sir so sir should i begin with the ppt yeah sure sure ma'am okay sir So I just hope that the PPT is uh, uh, visible to everyone. Yes, ma'am, it is visible. Okay, sir. So good evening, everyone. So we are here to discuss about the G20 summit and to understand our role and responsibility to make it a massive success. As school leaders, we need to understand what we are uh, we are needed to do. It is an immense, immensely proud moment for us Indians that India has got the presidency of the G20 summit. so i have divided the webinar into two parts to make it very simple for all of us so the first part of the webinar we will be we will be we will be dealing with uh, the basic concept of g20 its importance and relevance and in the second part we will understand comprehensively what are our duties and responsibility as cbse school leaders to make it trickle at school level so very uh, simply we will put it so we will be dealing with the concept of uh, g20 so just let's begin with the first slide so according to the this circular from cbsc which cbsc issued on 22nd december india has assumed the presidency we have we are the president of the g20 summit for this year as sir said for december 1st to uh, for one year term in this regard the logo and the theme for india's presidency of g20 was launched by the prime minister on 1st november 22 to mark this occasion of india taking over as g20 presidency for the first time the children may be educated about g20 and india's presidency because it's a big deal that has happened that india has got the presidency 
of G20. So every the younger uh, students, the younger generation needs to be aware of it and they should take a lot of pride in that that India has got this one this year. The main aim of this initiative is to disseminate the information as widely as possible, especially to the younger audience. That's why the CBSC schools are involved because we are one medium through which the younger generation can be sensitized and this cause can be promoted. Now, school heads may educate students about G20 and India's presidency of this multilateral forum. So, this was the circular issued on the 22nd of December in which we were instructed to do these things. Now, very, very quickly, what is G20? G20 is a group of 20 uh, countries in an inter is an intergovernmental forum of the world's major developed and developing economies. Uh, it's an amalgamation so that there's no gap. And if there is any gap, it can be bridged because both the sections of the uh, economies are there, the developed and the developing can learn from each other. The 19 countries other than India are mentioned here. So the G20 logo, as you can see on the slide on the right side, it draws the inspiration, you know, from the vibrant uh, colors of the Indian national flag. We need to understand the concept we, behind it so that we can uh, uh, create activities, you know, as intricately as possible. That's why I'm just dealing with everything that is behind the thought behind it. So it uh, draws inspiration from the vibrant colors of Indian national flag that is saffron, white and green. And the uh, planet that you can see is Earth. Uh, and despite all turbulent times and challenges and adversity, it reflects growth. The, the lotus that is our national flower reflects growth. No matter however the turbulent the times are, we have to grow. And that's why the theme of uh, India's G20 presidency is Vasudev Kutumbakam, one earth, one family, one future. And it has been derived from the Sanskrit text of the Maha Upanishad. So the world is one family. That is the concept behind the G20. The theme is uh, that. And the logo and the theme together convey a powerful message of India's G20 presidency, which is of striving for a just, equitable, growth for all in the world as we navigate through these turbulent times in a sustainable, holistic, responsible and inclusive manner. We have to include everyone. So that was the thought behind it. So uh, India will be inviting when the summit will be happening in, in uh, India, New Delhi, as Sir said, in the month of September. So India will be inviting a lot of international organizations. So we are mentioning this because it's a big deal that is that is about to happen and we have been given a very big responsibility to make it trickle to the school level. So more than 200 G20 meetings will be held at location across the country during India's presidency period. The G20 summit will be held in New Delhi on 9th and 10th September. Now this is known uh, when the India got the presidency of G20, this period is known as the Amrit Kal and it started uh, with the Zadika Amrit Mahotsav on the 75th anniversary of its independence and it will last for 25 more years. And this period is known as the Amrit Kal. So the, mo the most important point is why is G20 so important for India? You know, once we know the thought behind it and why in, uh, it is so important, we will be more driven and we'll be more passionately doing and contributing this cause. All the eyes will be on India for this while. India will get increased visibility. You know, uh, we will be the hotspot where everybody will be watching. And this is the time where we can demonstrate our true essence and the strengths we have. As a member of the G20, India will have increased visibility on the global stage and will be able to participate in discussions and decision making on important global issues. Then the, the second point is that access to knowledge and best practices, even uh, NEP says that uh, foreign universities uh, uh, will be coming to India. So this will be a major uh, breakthrough for India. Access to knowledge and best, best practices, the G20 provides opportunity for member countries to share knowledge and best practices in areas such as economic policy, financial regulation and infrastructure development. This can help India to improve its own economic policies and practices. So that's why it's so important. G20 is very, very important for 
uh, India. Then again, we'll have improved economic cooperation. The G20 provides a platform for member countries to engage. So it will be providing us a platform to engage in economic cooperation and to coordinate efforts to address global economic challenges. Whatever challenges India is suffering with, we can. this is the time we can address and come up with solution. This can benefit India by fostering closer economic ties with other leading economies leading to increased trade and investment. So it would be very, very good for economy also. Then we will be getting a representation of developing country. We are, this is a major representation that India is getting through this summit. So the G20 includes both developed and developing countries. Uh, it's a, as I told you, it's a amalgamation of both the, both the sides and providing a platform for the representation of interest of developing countries in the global economic discourse. This can help India to promote its own development priority and to secure its place as a rising power in the global economy. So it's, again, as I said, it's a big deal for India. So now we need to understand, we have now understood the meaning of G20 and why is it so important, but what is our role? as school leaders, how key we can contribute to it. Now, the second part of the webinar deals with that. So uh, this uh, G20 will improve India's economic prospect, engagement with other leading economy, economies, and promote India's role in shaping the global economic agenda, a few other points on which India will greatly benefit from the summit. So to mark this occasion and to disseminate the information to the younger audience. Now, it's our responsibility to disseminate how important G20 is, how it will change India's face on the global uh, platform. Uh, the we, CBSE will be conducting the year long activities and these activities will be student enrichment activities capacity building activities, online quiz competition. Activities will be held in the major cities of Chennai, Amritsar, Bhubaneswar, and Pune. Awareness activities across 56 cities in which G20 meetings are scheduled by the government of India. These are the guidelines that we have got. Patliputra Sahodia Complex is the organizing agency, and that's why we are here to discuss about it. We will be organizing it in uh, CBC schools in Patna. The target population is uh, classes 6 to 12. So the maturity level of a class 6 student to class 7 uh, to 12 student variates. And now we have to design activities according to the capabilities, potentials of the students, what suits them the best. Now, the aim of the activity is to mark that India has uh, got the presidency of the G20 for the first time. And this is a big thing that has happened. And we, the aim of the activity is to mark this occasion. Objective is to make the students and community community members aware about India taking over the G G20 presidency. Even if you have a small school in your neighborhood, which is not a CBSE affiliated school, it is our responsibility to make the students aware that this has happened and it's uh, and we have to make India shine. Now we have got the topic labor. So everything, now we have understood G20 and the basic basics behind it. Now we have to concentrate on the topic labor because we have got labor. So every activity that we design, every capacity building we do, every enrichment we do will be around labor because that is our focus. So our school as school leaders, uh, very, uh, very briefly from CBSC, these guidelines, there are some activities already launched and started and there's a special dedicated site g20.org which i'll be sharing at the end of the webinar on which you can go and see uh, what all activities has already they have already started so some there are some activities which have already been launched there are two quiz competition one on general awareness about g20 and the other on lifestyle for environment quiz these two quizzes have already been launched and are available on quiz.mygovernment.org Ian, if you want to take the screenshot, you can take the screenshot of this site. One slogan writing competition has also been launched. You can see the online and write a slogan on G20 and its various aspects. So these activities have already started. Many more events are scheduled for the whole year. Augmented reality, virtual reality exhibitions for school leaders are already there. Science exhibition will also be held at different locations shown in the schedule of activities, which is available on g20.org. G20 you can refer to them on the dedicated G20 website and from Ministry of Education and also from NCRT website, which I have shared the links I have shared at the end of the webinar. So you can just take a screenshot of those links and you can go and uh, deal uh, with them in depth. Now, labor is our topic. So everything will be around labor. So the 
CBSC has suggested some of the activities, but it depends completely on your innovation, your creativity, and you, on the uh, potential and capacity of your students, wherein you can do a lot of augmentation, improvisation. These are some suggestive activities which CBSC has suggested us. Round labor, inter-school competitions on theme like painting can be done, slogan writing, of which examples later on in the webinar I have given in detail. Uh, poster making can be done, debate competitions can be held, elocution, declamation, quiz, essay writing, poem recitation, skit, documentary, short film making, exhibition. Uh, so it completely depends which class can is capable of doing which activity, depends on the class. So these are some suggestive activities from CBSC. Collaborative activity or individual school activity in wherein you can go with exhibitions, Nukkar Nataks, rallies, seminars, workshop, expert talk. But the topic would be labor. Now, I have chalked down many of the theme for labor because whenever we hear the word labor, we uh, are somewhere stuck that what can we do with labor? What activities will interest our kids on labor? Labor is uh, is a topic wherein many ideas might not, might not pop up. So I have uh, chalked uh, and out many uh, themes from which you can uh, take up ideas and you know obviously uh, uh, improvise and augment it according to your school needs and capability and potential of your students so these are like first we can deal with firstly importance of labor it can be one topic on which poster making can be done essay writing can be done declamation can be done elocution competition can be done this is one topic on which we can deal then there is labor rights and labor wage Students are unaware of uh, such things, so sensitization programs, whatever suits, whatever activities can be made out of this. Different minds think differently, but this theme can be taken. Then lack of access to social protection and basic services. What are the social protection that, that is available to labor? Uh, if our labor loses his life doing some kind of work, what are the compensation that they get? So something around this can be, some activity can be built up. These are just topics, suggestive topics that will help you draw, uh, draw activities. Then say no to child labor. You know, kids are, uh, are not sensitized that, you know, they are privileged enough to come to school, but there's a major lot which is not going to school. They're not educated, they are working. And that is called child labor. So this can, a campaign can be done here. Then dignity of labor can be another topic, which any school can take and build activities around it. Then COVID-19, everybody knows how COVID hit the labor class and migration happened and how much atrocities they suffered. So this can be a, uh, can be a topic. Gender disparity in labor, you know, males and females, they work for equal hours. They do the equal physical work, but it has always been that females, they do, they do get the lesser remuneration so uh, because cbsc does talk about gender sensitivity so gender disparity in labor class can be taken as one theme labor law what are the lo laws uh, that that are there for the labor because labor is again a part of the uh, union list and the concurrent list so labor laws are uh, can be you know dealt with can be one of the theme no labor protection Kids, they do work in a factory industries, you know, they work for manholes and then uh, areas in the chimney, which are very small where uh, an adult cannot go. These kids go, they inhale the silica and they develop lung cancer. So such kind of theme can also be taken. Uh, impact of floods and droughts on labor can be one topic on which uh, these are just suggestions and uh, brilliant and beautiful activities can be carved around it. Labor migration, most of the Bihari labors, they do migrate to Gulf countries and you know how their households are taken care of. Such the kind of topics can again be taken into consideration. Labor suicide is one major problem and we are not unaware that su suicides happen in the labor class. Uh, so this can be uh, dealt with, themes uh, can be taken. There, there's an essay which I have taken from one of the kids. Uh, uh, you can read this out to the kids in the class and then they can get idea to write more essay on labor. If you want, you can take a screenshot. This essay was written by a nine standard uh, child on labor. So I have taken it and I have posted it just so that everybody has an idea how to go, how to, how to ask students to write an essay on labor. These are just suggestions to just make it simple and easy for everyone. Then poster making can be done. Somebody has drawn a beautiful sketch of a farmer. 
and uh, the facial expressions they speak a lot then uh, in the in the poster making there's a child the poster is divided into two parts and this is again higher order thinking skills where the child is same but the situations are different one is a labor and the other one is a privileged child then again there's a poster similarly to say no to child labor so such kind of higher order thinking posters can be uh, competitions can be held to make children aware about the labor and the problems they suffer and the importance they hold in our lives slogan writing and shout outs can be done to make children aware stop child labor let children be children these are some of the slogans that i have gathered every child deserves a childhood not a job child labor robs children of their innocence and future millions of children are forced to work instead of going to school join us in the fight against child labor say no to exploitation and yes to education these are some of the slogan writing the ideas can be given to students and you know they can can come up with brilliant ideas so these are just simple suggestions uh, which can be taken into consideration then here's a poem some one of the child has written this poem on hard working labor please take a screenshot because the child has written it really well on the plight of the labor class uh, um, that they you know it's a beautiful poem that a uh, 10 standard girl has written so this can be read out to children and then they will get an idea on how to rhyme and how they can use their own literature in uh, describing the plight of labor so these are some of the major suggestion around which we uh, can build activities and make this a huge success then quiz competitions can be held where i have put in some of the questions so that kids are aware of what exactly g20 is some of the question very basic questions i have put in but more questions can be put in on labor on g20 uh, so through quiz competition they are endowed with everything that is uh, related to labor and g20 then workshop and seminars can be held and i have written uh, four suggestions on the topics benefits india could derive from its g20 presidency obviously there are huge benefits that india can derive india's offer to the g20 countries at its president and then uh, you know prime we can give suggestions to the prime minister an important idea or point or uh, action as a school student that can be added in the g20 agenda so you know kids will come up with different ideas and agenda and what do they want uh, uh, to be changed improvisation or any suggestion they can have so through that you know it would be a can be a very brainstorming seminar where it can be interactive and kids can come up with their ideas suggestion for a greener and clean, cleaner environment to g20 countries and their leaders so these are some of the uh, topics that i thought can you know can give you more ideas and seminars and workshops can be held there are more topics that i have taken and you can um, take uh, you know help from these if you want that labor welfare can be another theme for, on which activities can be uh, can be built labor policy and legislation safety health and welfare of labor social security of labor policy relating to special target groups such as women and child labor industrial relation and reinforcement of labor law uh, workers education labor and employment bonded labor system the sexual harassment at the workplace administration of central labor and employment service See, these are some of the more topics around which activities can be built and we will get labor covered the topic labor would be completely covered if we uh, deal with uh, these topics so these are just suggestions that i have i could gather on labor there are more to it where we can talk about how political exclusion sometimes labor suffer no physical compensation they get plight of agricultural labor semi feudal system of production victim of irregular remittance semi feudal system employment opportunity plight of bihar bihari laborers in gulf countries reforms and entitlements migrant household victim of social economic and political power short term casual precarious employment so these are some of the topics that are related to labor and activities can be built around them so there are guidelines for the conduct of suggestive activities so uh, if you are carrying rallies or other group activities all safety protocols should be followed the activities should be centered around the theme g20 meeting in the city information as i have said it multiple times that there is a site g20.org on which all focused information on g20 is provided anybody any question can go on that side maximum participation of the students and other stakeholders is encouraged 
Activities may be planned for different age groups. If age group wise activities are planned, then activities selected design should be appropriate for the particular age group. Just see that, you know, it is the kids are able to internalize the information. They're able to connect with it. They are able to understand what is happening. The brief write ups on G20 prepared by NCERT for the students of class six and eight to eight and classes nine to 12 may be shared with the students to make them aware about G20. The next slide I have shared this. Uh, I have shared the links so you can uh, if if you're dealing with class six to eight do read it out to them it's in the form of a conversation between a teacher and a student so it's very simple and through that conversation kids will simply understand what is happening what is g20 and what is our role so details of the activities to be conducted by concerned Sahodya complex should be prepared in consultation with the member school and duly shared with cbsc along with the proposed dates so the annual uh, the calendar is also available on the site a report of the activities conducted will be shared with CBSC at the following link within one day after the conduct of the activity of which I have I have written the link here. So if you want, you can take the screenshot. So that's it from my side. These are the two links of the NCRT where you will get the in detail information about what exactly G20 is. And this is actually to tell the kids what uh, it is all about. So let's make G20 uh, a big success. That's all from my side, sir. Thank you, ma'am, uh, for uh, such a nice deliberations. Uh, uh, I think uh, if uh, even many of the principals uh, would uh, uh, have uh, want to have some assistance, so may I request you to uh, help them out in this uh, uh, task? Uh, can you share your uh, either uh, uh, WhatsApp or? Uh, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'll be I'll be writing my phone number right here. Any anyone, any guidance, any topic, any activity designing, I'll be there available. That's so not a problem. Great help to the principals, ma'am, uh, so that they can uh, take your suggestions, uh, take your help in uh, yes, working out yes, the sir. activities, planning out. And uh, now I request uh, any of the principals have any query regarding this uh, G20 uh, today's deliberations and activities. What Madam has just now uh, discussed. You can just uh, um, uh, click on your video and uh, unmute uh, un yourself. Otherwise, ma'am, uh, I'll request you to kindly share your uh, contact. Sir, I have shared in the WhatsApp. Let me write it once again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have written it, sir. Yeah, it's there. Uh, double nine three four eight nine one zero two nine. Yes. So, sir. Uh, on uh, anyone having any principles, having any uh, issues, or uh, want to uh, know more about uh, the activities about uh, G twenty, uh, so they can discuss with ma'am, and she will be readily uh, happy to uh, help all of you. So thank you for joining, and uh, it was really wonderful.